<laughs> but I'm sure I will next time, guys. Just didn't strike strike the mood. I know. I get you. Maybe? Hopefully. Bingo. We'll see. I learned a long time ago not to get excited about, like, internet dates until after the date. <laughs> because a lot of the time they just don't happen for whatever reason. And admittedly, we canceled a few of our, <laughs> our dates as well. We're no... We're no saint. No? But still, I'm glad it went well, man. I'm glad it actually worked out for you. That's awesome. Hopefully, hopefully it's the beginning of something real nice. Hopefully. I mean, I just linked it to my parents' Amazon Prime account, so I don't know if they still have it. Okay, true, true, true. <laughs> That's jokes. You might as well, right? Like, it's not like they're on here watching fucking Pokimane at 2 in the morning, right? <laughs> well, maybe. No? Maybe. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Maybe? Your dad's like, what the fuck? <laughs> this Twitch sub belongs to Pokimane. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. I shouldn't be so presumptive. No? Probably. Uh, well, that sucks, man. It's okay. You can, you can use the channel points, right? To experience all the thrills and chills of being a subscriber. It's true. Do we want animal corpses here? No. I don't know why we put that one there. Okay. We did actually move it into the fridge. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay, beautiful. We're still hunting the friggin' turtles? Okay, let's speed it up a bit. We're up to like, what? Nine people now? Nine people. And we're gonna get... I don't know if we really want to get Menia. She's kind of garbage, right? She's a little sickly. And she's all banged up, too. She's frail. She's got a bad back. Cataracts. Her left hand has been shot off. Her right humerus is shattered. I don't even think she can properly stand up at this point. We may just have to either wait till she dies or just harvest up her lungs, right? Probably. Uh, you detected a cluster of cargo. Nice. Uranium. Oh. I won't say no. Nice. But hopefully you get it back eventually. Maybe kind of, sort of. It could, it could, it could happen. Crazy things have happened. Huh? But yeah, maybe they got rid of it. Right? Maybe it just kind of ran out. You gotta, you gotta pay for it, I think, by the year, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe you can go month to month, but I bet it's more expensive. It's a nice feature, though. It's a smart thing that Amazon put in to entice the Twitch viewers to get the Amazons. F fuck a duck. We need so much more space for all this cloth. Holy God. Oh. I'm glad it went well, Benzo. Though. Keep us posted, too. About uh, the second end or third one. Oh, nice. He's getting it, boys. No? The non-drinker. Perfect. Does she live near you? Or do you have to, like, drive, like, a mile and a half away? Hopefully, Hopefully she, uh... She lives kind of near you there. Hopefully. Possibly? 30 minutes away. Ah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Nice. Especially since you drive, right? Yeah, no problem. No problem. We've had further drives. <laughs> no? Everything is uh, 30 minutes way out here. <laughs> and so does she. Nice. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. When you said her car. I figured, she have a nice car? Well kept. No? Hopefully? No. No, lol. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, she's got a junker. A clunker. Just like you, right? Two clunkers. Made in heaven. Fuck, Minia can walk. But she almost wishes she couldn't. Look how slow she is. Oh my god. Can we just kind of like... Want to release her? 
this release her, right? Bye, bitch. Go back to your friends. Oh, she's gonna come back with, like, the fucking army, right? The reinforcements. Do we want to take down these thrombos? We got a pretty good firing line here. I just don't know if it's enough. I think we need better guns. We still got some softies off. <laughs> and some with an axe. Actually... They are pretty good, actually. Oh my god. But it packs a punch and handles quite well. Yeah, maybe we should keep this one. It's a short ranger, though. Gotta keep that in mind. Nope. No, I'm excited for you, Benson. Nice. We'll speed it up. We're going full speed. No stopping me. Does this need to be closed up for them to be happy? I don't think they give a fuck, right? They're animals. I don't give a shit. So we'll leave them like a little... A little sunspot. We can go sit in the sun. Maybe we should plant a tree there? Maybe. Put a bunch of roses? Maybe. Why don't we just grow a bunch of hay? <laughs> Probably would make a lot more sense, right? Instead of this fucking situation. We can make this the devil strand, maybe. Oh, my lord. Can you imagine? We fucking do it, right? Oh, what's this now? Stop. A piece of stone there. We can't do nothing about that. Okay, never mind. We'll keep it as it is. Flip a Ronin. We had plans. Guess what? We fucked it. I guess we could maybe expand the wood out one more. Or maybe just come down one more. A slightly less coming in f for us. Six, yeah, six less hay, or whatever. <laughs> Life goes on. Bum, 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 bum. Zone, growing, whack. We'll just get the hay grass. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? And then we'll chooch this to the devil strand. Turn off the sewing. We'll get rid of that one eventually. Eventually. I forgot the password so I can't log in right now. But I have it in a password book. Log me out of Amazon. Oh, I see. Plus my Twitch Prime sub renews tomorrow. Cool. Gotta give that sweet $3. Sweet $3. <laughs> hey, man. It goes a little goes a long way, right? Especially these days. Jesus Christ. Well... Three dollars is suddenly worth a lot more. <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. Hopefully. Amazon will take care of you. Right? Old Jeff. When has Jeff ever let us down? Oh. Hopefully. <laughs> oh. Animal disease. Rags has got the plague. What the fuck? <laughs> Is it, like, super hot out here? No. Are we kicking this thing's ass or what? Yeah, kind of. Come on, rags. Fight the power. Do you want to give him the regular health kits? Old ragsy poodle? Do we have no more neutro, I mean? I don't think we do. Shit, goddamn. Okay, we'll save up old Ragsy boy. Well, Twips, uh, Twitch Prime sub is now just worth a third of a toilet paper tube or a small hand sanitizer container. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it can go a long way in this post-corona world. Yeah, for sure. Oh, man. So what do you, what do you think, young guy? Young fella, 
What do you think about this whole situation? Are you guys like isolating? Is your family isolating? Like, what is? What are you? If your parents tried talking to you about it, I'm, I must. I can't even imagine what it's like to be a young person going through this shit. Cause it ain't coming after you, right? But at the same time, you gotta like lay low so you don't spread it. What? Cause the motherfucker's dying out there. It's not good. I don't, we don't even know if this is really gonna work. Like, it might just come back out after a while and it just starts spreading again. <laughs> so we'll see. Well, there should be a vaccine eventually. Still, I, I wonder. I don't have a lot of, thankfully, <laughs> contact with the young people anymore. Not since I quit working at grocery stores. We used to be able to gather the insights of the young, the young minded on today's world, or their their lack of insight. <laughs> Often, often the case. But no judgments. No. No. You are not a monolith. Can we <laughs> speed this up? Or speed it. I tried to go out and play basketball, and my parents wouldn't let me. Oh shit! But other than that, it's uh, it's BB. It's BB. It's pretty normal. It's pretty normal. Okay. True. You guys haven't been like locked down or something like that. Okay. True. Nice. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty normal for me, too, minus the fact that, like, I suddenly have to, like, work at home. And it's not even really, like, I don't even have to ask for it. It's just like, here's your laptop, go. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Anyway. But, yeah. This shit don't happen every day, so. We'll see. We'll see what happens, right? Like the, pre <laughs> the president always says. We'll see what happens. Biofuel. feel. Done. Also, I've been going to school, which is lame. Also, you haven't been going to school. Well, yeah, that's that's definitely going to fuck up your school year, right? For sure. That's not not out of the norm, out of the ordinary. No, nope, that's a little out of the ordinary. Definitely out of the ordinary. <laughs> Let's get the fire. From. Good God. No, nah, man, that's... I mean, other than a strike, there was at one point when I was going to school, there was like a two week strike or something like that. And all the teachers couldn't get along with the, uh, the board and the board couldn't get along with the teachers. So they just didn't do nothing for two weeks except talk behind closed doors. We, and we had to stay home. Well, we got like condensed school year. I think we had to stay like a week longer than scheduled. But otherwise, it wasn't that bad. We gained a week on the whole. But it was pretty fucked up, man. It was just weird. And it's, this is kind of like that, but like... Big time. <laughs> big time. No? I thought it would be cool and be able to play games all day, but I haven't been this uh, bored for a while. Ah, oh, man. Oh, yeah, because you can't like you can't just like fucking do whatever you want to do, right? You gotta like keep all this shit in mind now. When you're just out doing the normal things you gotta do. Yeah. But again, it's it's hopefully in in an effort to prevent something worse from happening. Cause that sadly only really seems to be what we're able to do. Hopefully. We can do it online, but the teachers legally can't grade the stuff, so I can't really be motivated. They can't grade the stuff. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what <laughs> what the fuck? No wonder you're not motivated. <laughs> Talk about busy work. Holy shit. <laughs> what they can just keep it keep it in mind when they actually give you a grade later on, I guess. For something else. Like what the fuck? Oh, that's off. That's that's a little weird. Is that uh, that just must be like an Illinois law? Uh Illinois? Oh my god. Illinois law. What? Right? State law? Must be. Hmm? That's how it's done in the States, right? State by state, just like... Okay, or Canada. Province by province. Hospitality? Affordable. Aristocrats. We don't want to do it. Not really. We're kind of suffering here. Bit of a... Solar flare scheme? Not good. We're also in desperate need of components. But we're getting there. Slowly researching? Fuck me. That's right. We were researching the, uh, what? Oh, yeah. 
We're gonna build this thing. Plast steel. Yeah, that's what's really killing us here. This this guy might actually have some. Uh, Shen, wake up. Never mind. This is some mouth breathing tribes people. Hey. Then again, we can sell them a lot of stuff. How are we doing silver wise? Pretty good. Probably should go chop. Chop mine all that other silver out there. Oh, here we go, baby. Oh. Okay, nice. What else do we want to sell? We can just really sell them a bunch of clothes. What can we buy? He doesn't have much. Sadly. Meat? I guess we could buy some meat. We could buy some donkeys? <laughs> Want to buy a donkey? <laughs> I mean, you don't often get the option, right? When in Rome, buy a donkey. They're pretty expensive. I don't know. I don't know. The teachers can't give us grades because the school hasn't really learned how to do everything. So they can't mess up our grades up. So they can't mess up our grades up if they can't do an assignment. Okay. If they can't actually properly do assignment. Well, and that's the thing. Like, usually teachers, like, when they, when they set out to, like, go about, like, a semester or something like that, they kind of have, like, stuff plotted out, right? They probably, they kind of have stuff plotted out, right? They kind of got, you know, but right now... <laughs> They've just been throwing a fucking massive curveball. They don't have, like, all this shit figured out. They don't know how to use the software. They probably would have been, like, frantically, uh, after you guys go home, frantically, like, figuring out how to figure this shit out. Oh, man. It's got to be rough being a fucking teacher right now. Not that it isn't rough being a student, but fuck, man. Jesus. They'll, well, they'll get it figured out, but still. It's just so fucking weird. Isn't buying ass illegal? Well, in some places, yes. On a planet like this, I'm pretty sure it's quite, quite encouraged. No? Nope. Call me vid? I would think so. Hi! Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I think so. I mean, I'm no, I'm no doctor. I don't know. Maybe it's not illegally. It's just information from eight grade boys, which is always the best news source. Truly. Truly the best news source. <laughs> Probably. No? <laughs> Last I checked. Best... <laughs> okay, fair fair point. Doing good. How's the plague in your area? Uh, it's not like... We're not like in like total lockdown. Uh, but it's... Self-isolation is encouraged. The markets are tanking. You know, the government's fucking just injecting all this money into the system right now. So that's kind of worrying. We'll see. We'll see how she all goes. I don't know. It's pretty fucked up. Like I was just saying to uh, Pelican, I'm working from home now for the first time since I've got this job. Uh, and not even like because I like begged and pleaded. No, no, no. <laughs> Set up. Ready to go. You close all the public schools around here. Yeah, they've pretty much done the same where uh, Pelican lives. Sadly. And now he's got to just be bored. Thank God for video games. I could buy some wolf skin. But even then, like, after a while, you're just like, shit. <laughs> I can't even enjoy this because I know I'm going to get mailed by this later. I have to, like, do so much work to fill out the school year. Fuck, we can't buy all this shit. We just got to buy all this meat, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> too much? A little too much. Why don't we get... We don't want to buy the tortoise meat. We don't want to buy squirrel meat. Iguana meat? Not really. Maybe just a caribou meat, right? That sounds good. Oh, look. 800 bananas. It works out really well. Man, we got so many, like, shirts and shit to sell, too, though. Yeah, we gotta sell this stuff. Why you no buy? No? Huh? They even closed my kid's cyber school. Really? Jesus, what? <laughs> Why? Why? It's a public school, so it fell under the governor's order. Oh. <laughs> Seems like a bit of an oversight, but fair enough. Best to err in the... Uh, uh, caution? Uh, I guess. 
Das sieht keine Art aus. The fuck? Trade inspired, Sean. You kidding me? <laughs> I literally just made a big trade. Dag nabbit. Oh, ripperoni. All the more reason we should get the uh, orbital trade beacon. And we're gonna set that up right about here, Ski. Like that? I'll just build like some random fuck room here. And leave room for a hallway if we need here. For the most part. I'll set up some traps here too. We should do that. We should get some fucking traps up here as well. Get the mass constructing skills. Uh, get a little wood door. Right about there, Ski. Nice. Okay. They fixed it. Class started back up today. But still, okay, good. They did fix it. Good. Oh, I thought you meant they canceled the classes. That we're back up to a public school. Yeah, no, that would be fucked up. <laughs> Just goes to show why politicians are not the people you want in charge of stuff in a crisis. Well, I don't know. You say that, man, but, like, in Canada, personally... Like, I'm kind of reassured by my, my leader, personally. Like, uh, the situation's fucked up, but I feel like they're doing the right things. You know? Then maybe, you know, some would argue that they could go a little bit harder and faster. But I I don't think they're, they're dilly-dallying, you know? They're taking it seriously. But maybe that's just where you are. It's, it's a bit different where you are. I'm, like, I'm not always... I don't always have faith in my politicians, but thankfully my government, at least federal government, maybe not so much provincial government, <laughs> but federal government is taking care of things. The, fe the, uh, the, just, the provincial government's a bit messier. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry that uh, politics has let you down. And let me tell you, I'm, I'm not ignorant to the fact that a lot of people feel exactly the way you do. And I think they should because they have been let down in so many ways. At every level of the game. And it's it's bananas. But there is hope. <laughs> it can be done is what my point is. It's not all not all grim. I know it doesn't give you much help at this point. But we also have to stay positive. We have to think we can fucking do this thing and not turn inward and you know, lash out too much. <laughs> no, except that the people that are just pumping stupid fucking conspiracy theories. Like this is some kind of biological warfare or some shit like that. It's just fucking cuckoo bananas. And it does no good whatsoever. It's exactly what Putin wants us doing. Just bickering. And sowing seeds of confusion. Creating a world where we don't know what's real, what's up, what's down, who's telling the truth, who's not. What side you're really even on. That's exactly how he's, like, held on to power in Russia for so long. No? What else do we want to get? We gotta watch out for that guy. And lo and behold. <laughs> your boy Trump. Best buds with Putin. Piano? Oh, we're getting the fucking piano, right? Oh, yeah. Can we set that sucker up in here? I think we can. Maybe we'll tuck it right into the corner there. Nice. Little jazz corner. Lovely. For jazz. We'll, we'll, we'll do the jazz. Oh, yeah. We gotta drain this shit out, too. 3.1 days, yeah. We're gonna set us up a hospital in here. We can't even use this fucking thing now. <laughs> We've literally blocked all the spots. Oh. Where can we put it? Up by the farm? Eh? Maybe out here? It's nice to split up the recreation, right? On the wire? That doesn't seem fun. We don't want to throw it out here. People will be getting hit with the fucking horseshoes. As they're leaving the base. Okay, whatever. No. Oh. <laughs> doesn't bode well. Yikes. No. No. 
we had a conversation before about my geopolitical viewpoints. Well, I, well, no, no offense, but like I've had many conversations with many people, <laughs> their geopolitical viewpoints. I can't say I like associate and attribute a memory to each and every one, but uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, it, it seems like a likely a likely bet. I'm not one to shy away from such a conversation. That is for certain. How did we not sell enough of this stuff? Or did we just haul back a bunch of steel and plug it all up? Man, yeah, we need a much bigger storeroom. Holy god. Where, do, where could we make it? Up here somewhere? No, we're going to make more bedrooms here. I kind of want to make just like a storeroom for steel. Like maybe like right here. Fuck, there's literally a steel wall right here. I'm scared to take this down though. I feel like there's gonna be aliens in there. Hold on, <laughs> we'll go take a peek. Oh, okay, one. Oh. No aliens? Yeah, we talked about healthcare and you almost had a stroke. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Some dumb Yankee trying to tell me that US healthcare is the way to go. That sounds about right. <laughs> that would be stroke inducing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a high mood. Sean has experienced inspiration. Oh. Not a boy. Where should we get the... We've got so many fucking statues in here too, taking up all this space. Where should we get this one? In the barn? We could get it in the kitchen. Although we've kind of locked ourselves in here. Do we really need that many chairs? Uh, yeah, we kind of do actually. Shit. Maybe in here. We can get it in here? Oh, we're going to put the piano in here though. We can't put it in there. We can't put it in some hallway. Nope. I feel like it's just hard to get things back on track after a time like this where everything just stops. It's definitely economically, uh, you know, mentally, in the realm of academia, in the working world. Yeah, man. Everything is just kind of grinding to a halt. It's bizarre. It's never, <clears throat> at least in modern times, I can't think of anything like it. On such a grand scale, anyway. It's fucked up. There's nowhere we can put this, really. Maybe in the kitchen? That seems so excessive. Maybe? Oh. Never mind. I knew if we just fucking dingle-dangled it for six hours. I don't know about that actual statue. Though. It's right in the way of the oven. Uh, we're going to be dropping the spaghetti all over the floor. That's not good. Ambrosia. Oh. We should get that, right? Make up the, uh, Psych IT. You tripping balls. All day long. You guys get everything for free, healthcare-wise? Or just some stuff? We do not get everything for free up here. It's, uh, we pay f through it, uh, through, uh, taxes, for the most part. Mainly through government sales tax and provincial sales tax. Which is usually spent on items. Not so much food items, but... Uh, you know, like consumer items, like consumer goods and stuff like that. Just t everything from TVs to toilet paper. Well, maybe not toilet paper, actually. <laughs> Something like that. No. But, uh, we don't get dental covered up here in Canada. We don't get dental covered up here. That's one thing that kind of lacks and we should have. But, 
usually if you have, you know, a, a halfway decent job, you will have benefits and you'll be able to get dental coverage through those. Just about any job that offers any kind of benefits. And I've worked at a grocery store that gave benefits. No, nope, nothing is for free. Somebody's going to pay for it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> we do pay for it. But you pay for it when you go to the fucking doctor's office, right? Too. But uh, that's the thing. Every time you go to the doctor, anytime you need to go get health care, you never have to pull out your wallet other than to show your health card. Never is money exchanged. Never is a bill sent to you. You might sometimes have to get... Uh, uh, pay for prescriptions and stuff like that and that's a thing that's often argued about in poli uh, election campaigns up here you might have to pay prescriptions but again if you have benefits at work prescriptions are pretty much covered like your your bill will go from what like 30, 30 40 bucks for a bottle of pills to like two it's fine if, you know in most cases pretty much no nope. and again you pay for benefits as well right? exactly you got to pay for something no nope. Like you would guys would get really expensive cancer treatment and stuff for free. Well, again, not for free, but we all pay into it. Every Canadian pays into these taxes so that if someone needs that treatment, yes, they don't have to worry about paying for it, how much it's going to cost them, how they're going to, you know, move around funds, raise funds, start up what, like a fucking Kickstarter to save their life. No, that's not a reality people have to deal with up here in Canada. No Breaking Bad in Canada. <laughs> the plot would not work in Canada. Are you playing a mod? No. No mods. No mods, baby. We play au naturel. No. And we kill all these mouth-breathing colonists. Au naturel. That's usually how she goes. We have, like, family doctors up here. All you really got to do is keep on top of your health card, which don't cost you nothing as long as you don't let it expire. As long as you renew it before it expires, you're fine. Americans pay for their uh, insurance, their co-payment, and their taxes. It's, uh, it's, not really, it's not really the best. I, I don't know. It seems like such an unnecessary burden when you're already going through what could be the most trying and potentially life-ending experience that one can go through. <laughs> then you have to worry about how to pay for it on top of it all. Hmm. We pay for peace of mind. That's what taxes get you. Peace of mind. So that when you drive down the fucking road, your car's not getting ripped up <laughs> by the fucking potholes, right? Or there's a doctor available to see you. Well, there's all kinds of ways that we love taxes and we love the socialism and socialistic principles that they afford us and provide us. But when people attribute such a label to things, sometimes their mind suddenly changes for whatever reason. Even though, in theory, if they didn't know what it was labeled as, <laughs> they would probably love it. It's fucked. Oh! But yes, cancer treatments, all kinds of stuff. There might be, like, you might get the odd rare treatment, right? That, like, one person in, you know, six billion gets. Or something like that. Son of a bitch. What are you doing, Cheetah? Oh, it was light in our fucking... Okay, we're gonna have to get out there and deal with that one. Come on, boys. Are we just shooting ourselves here? so many of them. Oh my god. I think it's this indiscriminate turret. Also our lack of cover. <laughs> oh my god. We're getting nailed. Okay. Jet. Get out of here. Actually. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we, this could have gone better. Uh... Out. Did any of them survive? Okay, we got Val.
Who can heal Val? Rena. We did it. Barely. <laughs> but we did it. Okay. Jet bleeding out here. What a mess. Who's this? Mason. Rip. Oh, fuck. Thank God for the rain, right? No fire for you, friend. Nice. Nice. Oh, just missed. No. I swear, I think they make potholes, not fill them. No. Well, it's it's just you know, take your pick. <laughs> take you take your pick of whatever government services provided to you that you benefit from. Again. It's different everywhere, right? There's no universal good or universal bad. Every government's different. At the same time. You can't have a decent society without taxes. There's a difference between taxation and poor taxation, right? Like, really, really poorly executed taxation. I'm not advocating for that. Oh, oh God. Lou, what is your problem? We'll see. Illinois should try the whole filling the potholes thing. <laughs> it's usually a good idea. When possible. No? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think a lot of governments have lost the plot, though. I'm not ignorant to that fact. And again, like, I have my provincial government. It's kind of, uh... Kind of not really, uh... Not really living up to snuff. You know what I mean? really uh, what we wanted I think sadly no you managed to capture anyone we did get Val but I'm pretty sure she died <laughs> pretty sure she did it wasn't really working out for old valley girl no probably already roasted and toasted her yeah she's dead couldn't get to her in time maybe because we took someone off of uh, uh, you know what We might have taken him off, uh, what's it called? Raid mode or whatever the fuck it was. And they forgot their priorities. God damn it. How's this boy doing? Fine. This boy? 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 Girl? Boy? <laughs> whatever there. They? Oof. Dinosaur. Needs a little bit. Needs a little bit of his love for me. Where is it? Bubbles? Bubbles? Bubbles is doing it. Not a boy, Bubbles. Nope. Uh. Trump was thinking about sending checks to every person in April and May. That's a policy I can get behind. Yeah, I think Canada is going to do the same thing. Help out with, like, rent and stuff like that, you know? Food. Keep it all coming in. Because it's going to be... There's so many people that live paycheck to paycheck. This is what I'm talking about, man. All these fucking jobs that we keep talking about. These jobs numbers of people that, you know, oh, yeah, the unemployment's real low. But, yeah, but they're they're barely surviving. Yeah, they got a fucking job, but it's like, you know, some fucking shit job that's now closed. <laughs> because, you know, they can't fucking go to work, so. They got to figure something out. There's going to be, you know, foreclosures on houses and stuff like that. There's just going to be, you know, people are just going to be going broke left, right, and center if they can't be working. No. <clears throat> I don't think too many people have to look too far either to find someone or know someone that's been laid off. Sadly. Albeit temporarily, you know, it's not like these jobs will be gone forever, but some will. Like some businesses will close. For good. <laughs> it won't be good. We'll see. Another one bites the dust. Nice. Oh, yeah, some people are boom towns. Like grocery stores? I'm so glad I quit my job at a grocery store. Woo-wee! <laughs> this would be like Christmas fucking day or Christmas Eve every fucking day. <laughs> oh, my God. It would just be crazy. Oh, some people are going gangbusters, I know. And again, it's boom, it's feast or famine, right? But a lot of people should be not working in a lot of places. 
and the less the less it slow we slow down it seems the slower the disease uh, infects people which is good so that our health care systems are not overloaded as they are slowly becoming in the west it's crazy can people set up uh, to work from home? Yeah, man, that's that's what I'm doing now. I'm salaried, so no extra money for me. No, so that sucks. That's rough. I'm I'm all set up from home now too, thankfully. Going into the office was creepy, man. It was so vacant. The downtown core was just like fucking. It was empty. Twenty eight days later, shit, man. Oof. It's weird. In Maryland, they put up a moratorium on evictions and utility shutoffs so this thing's over if people fall behind on their payments. Good. There needs to be more of that kind of shit. I'm waiting for something like that in Ontario, man. There's got to be something like that. So many people are just just shit out of luck. So imagine, imagine a couple, you know, that met. They were both worked retail. They met, right? You know, they eventually, whatever, the, uh, the husband or the wife or, you know, one went off, got a new job. The other one stayed at the same job. But both of their fucking stores are closed right now. And it's not like they can even go get another job. What can they do? They can't just walk down the street and get a job at the competition, right? It's not a fucking reality right now. They all closed. I'm sure you can hustle and make some money somehow, but like, you might be called to go back to work next week. <laughs> uh, maybe two months. It's fucked, man. Not to mention that the fucking world seems to be headed to, or it's a global recession, perhaps even a depression. Which will just compound everything for people. It'll be, it'll be a mess. It'll be a mess. It's okay, but no. F for Val. <laughs> it's okay. Val was, Val was thankfully just a fucking prisoner. Not a hope, a wanting prisoner, hopeful prisoner. We wanted to, wanted her to be a prisoner. She was not actually one of ours. I, I would, if I would not press F in chat, <laughs> not to be a contrarian. She was a shitbag bastard, though. Coming to kill us. Probably stuck a few of our guys with arrows at some point. I bet old Jet suffered... Suffered some of her bow action. But we were willing to give her a shot. It was a mistake. Should we make some food? Wow, we got a lot of food now, actually. We could do with some more, though. Maybe change up this cotton a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did we get rid of this one? No. So, wait. Fuck. <laughs> Too big. What the hell was I thinking? Lord in heaven above. Shia LaBeouf. There we go. Perfect. Eh. We'll make this one, uh, what? Some kind of food. Uh, taters? We got shitloads of taters. We got lots of rice. We got lots of berries. Corn, right? That's the one. Hide it. Nice. Booyah. Hi! Hello! Nope. It's okay, but I mean, they just have to pay for it later. So it may just be putting off the inevitable. It may just be pay, pay, putting off the inevitable, for sure. But it might give them, a, you know, it might give a lot of people a lifeline to make one end to another kind of thing, right? Like, it's better than nothing. Uh, the, and really, at this point, there should be no holding back. You no? Know? Well, maybe not. I, I don't know. Like, is it really that bad? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. It has the potential to be really bad. We'll see. Maybe? Maybe. My dad works from home 90% of the time, so we still have most of the income from our family, but my mom works at a grade school as a reading specialist, so she's out of work. They did that in my state, too. They included internet services as well. So we still have most of the income from my family. Well, that's good. So she's out of work. Well, that's, that kind of sounds like me and my lady friend. That's good. At least you got some money coming in, though, right? Like, we'll be fine for a few months. I don't really have to worry for quite a while. I mean, like, 
<laughs> what is money for except to keep yourself alive at this point? Might as well shoot the load. Not to say that I'm just fucking splashing around like, you know, Don Juan. But we'll be okay. And hopefully, hopefully your folks are in a good position there too. Hopefully. They did that in my state too. They included internet services. That's good. That's good. Good. Very nice. Nope. Maybe. It's good. Maybe. Internet services. What, like the data caps? Maybe the data caps. So you could just watch Netflix all fucking day long. You don't you don't want to be seen as profiting off a pandemic, I think. <laughs> Unless you're in like the healthcare services business. Making masks and shit. Something to aid the pandemic. Or fighting the pandemic, not the actual pandemic. Hi, lazy buggy, hi. Sorry, hi. Hi. I know it's too early to go all out. Well, I think, you know, economically. <laughs> we've kind of gone all out we're going all out but when when is too early in a pandemic right do you want to be ever in a position where you look back and say we we didn't act soon enough like i think it's better to err on the side of caution but at the same time i know you gotta weigh hysteria you have to weigh you know getting caught up in the moment getting caught up in in the potential of it and overreacting but like there's no fucking guidebook there's no plan there's no you know <laughs> nothing really even to refer to on something of this magnitude it's fucked no internet providers can't turn off people's internet so peeps can work from home oh okay that's nice i know a few of my co-workers like they had to get like upgrades through uh through uh because their internet wasn't fast enough rather to do what we do uh, from home and uh, I think it's like I think one managed to like not even have to pay for it, and uh, another one I think our, I think our work is paying for it. If I'm not mistaken. That's pretty decent too, right? Just got to do what you got to do at this point. In theory, everything the earlier everything's done, it, the the earlier it's the sooner it's over. But I know this this is like arguments on both sides too. It could just be. In the grand scheme of things, not much, but at this point, like, the way the graph is going on this shit, it ain't good. <laughs> like, it can get real bad. And it's kind of hard, like, a lot of people have a uh, hard time thinking about exponentials, right? Like, how exponentials work. Yeah, it's okay one day, but then six, seven days later, like, shit is fucking hitting the fan. <laughs> it's, it's scary. If they drain the coffers now, where are they going to get the money when the bad stuff comes in 19 to 16 months? Well, is it going to come in 19 to 16 months, or are we going to have a vaccine by then, right? Who knows? The estimates are within a year, I think, for the most part, until we have a vaccine that works. If we have a vaccine that works. But in most instances, there would be one. But then again, I don't think there's a vaccine for SARS-CoV, which was like the last or most similar strain to what, what's fucking flying around right now so i don't know we'll see hopefully they do something in my state regarding power because at least la uh, at least last i heard i know at least one person that's about to have their power cut off fuck man let's see that's 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 crazy at this point you can't be doing shit like that so many people just living paycheck to paycheck it's this is it's gonna be so bad for so many people you thought 2008 2009 was bad no i think this is gonna be really really much worse in a lot of ways financially for a lot of people well there won't be an effective vaccine until well after 95 percent session well i don't know what that is really but i'm just going by what the who says <laughs> not i don't know what your source is or whatever but i pretty much read what the who says uh, uh, in their daily releases and go by what they but they've been talking about and they the common consensus seems to be within a year there's a pen potential to have something somewhat fast track, but even then we're talking the difference of maybe months. It, again, if. It's not even like when this happens, it's still kind of if. So that's kind of fucked up too, but... We're hoping in a few weeks. Like, look at places like Wuhan, right? Like, in a couple of weeks, they locked everyone down, they kind of limited the spread, and it's going... It's going better. WHA, the World Health Organization. The people that we put in charge of dealing with this shit. <laughs> dealing with pandemics. Right? 
the people that we need to trust and we have to have faith in and, and look to for accurate and concise information about the situation at hand. Not just what so fucking Bubba, Bubba McJoe said on Facebook or whatever the fuck. I don't know. First, no, we'll see. That seems to be the, the scientific consensus. Though. So hopefully, hopefully that works out to be. There was talk that SARS vaccine was going to be released within a year, still waiting. Well, that's the thing. It kind of went away though, right? That we killed it. We crushed it. We, it wasn't, it broke out in a way, but we figured out how to take care of it. There wasn't as much of a demand for the vaccine, but yeah, it kind of faded into the background. Now, again, I'm saying if, I'm not saying when, call me vid, right? It's not a for sure thing, but we might lick this thing just like we did SARS. We have to, I mean, at this point, given the gravity of the situation, we have to be positive. Like I said, no, no sense in turning inward, fighting against each other. That ain't going to work out in the best. <laughs> no? We'll see. Stick to the facts, what we know, and limit the uh, the conspiracy stuff and, and potential for, or, or whatever, not conspiracy stuff, but, you know, just fluff. Something you read online kind of shit. I don't know. It's, it's not good. We'll see. Not sure they have the cleanest noses this time around. The WHO, uh, WHO that is. Well, fuck, man. I don't know. I don't know if I if anyone could really be a judge about that. I personally don't know enough about medicine and how uh, you know uh, epidemiology works <laughs> personally. But there are people a lot smarter than me that do. I don't know. There's I read a couple of stories today about mistrust. How, well, there's such widespread mistrust. Like in some countries, like you know Canada and the U.S., like as many as 40, 50 percent of the people just have outright mistrust in scientists. Because they think they're bought out by the government. They're just, they're just, they're just bought out by someone. They're, they're just up to some nefarious shit. Not that there isn't that kind of stuff, right? But they're, 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 they're called quacks. They're called kooks for a reason. Right? I don't know. Scientists can be wrong, but a good scientist is, you know, willing to admit that. And then, you know, figure out what, what, what was wrong about it and, and make it, make it better in some way or something like that. Or make, make it right somehow. Usually. No. Nope. I mistrusted the scientists to the science is the organizations. Yeah, but these the organizations are filled with pe the scientists. <laughs> they're, they're scientists. <laughs> so it, it is <laughs> with, uh, with with the organizations. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you can't have one without the other. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> do you know anything about these people's backgrounds? <laughs> and the shit they've been able to do and figure out? Like it's... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is what I'm talking about, man. Why this mistrust? This is just the inherent mistrust. It's crazy. Too many YouTubes. <laughs> I don't know. It's just that the organizations are not run by science. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why, why, why people think <laughs> just because someone at the head is not a scientist, someone, someone that's maybe at the top is not a scientist, that the whole thing is rotten, <laughs> to all the people, all the people. You think just because your boss is a shithead, you're a shithead? <laughs> is that how it works? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's fucking crazy, man. Oh, again, I don't get the skepticism. I don't fucking get it. Who else are you going to trust? Some guy that's done the fucking research? <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh. Wow. I don't think the whole thing is rotten. That's just me. Well, again, I don't... Whatever. The blatant mistrust in like a an organization like the WHO. What's your fucking source? What, what like these? It's not just one person. It's like vast amounts of people from all over the world. A sharing of ideas, coming up with solutions. It's not just like one person or one, you know, like two or three or whatever. How many fucking? Things. Jesus Christ! I don't know. It's a little scary. Just the blatant mistrust. 
Not that there isn't junk science, right? There is junk science. You only need to look at fossil fuel lobbying <laughs> to have your evidence for junk science. <laughs> but I think I just don't get the blatant mistrust organizations. What have they done? No? They don't always get it right, but fuck. <laughs> They're trying. <laughs> and we have to. We have to at least. If not. I don't know. If you if, if 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 they're problematic in your mind, try to come up with ways to make them better. And I guess we can just so easily. It's hard to do that, though. It is hard to do that. Not that I really. Not that I'm beyond fact checking fucking journalists to get shit wrong. I don't really do that either. Ugh. These are the same people that climate change is a thing. So how can you possibly believe them? Same people that climate change is a thing. What? Right. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, are you are you suggesting that climate change isn't a thing? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Come on now. It's all fake news, yeah. So it is. Someone's done the research. He's American, forgive him. That's okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> oh. What the 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 fossil fuel lobbyists? No? Maybe? That's what I mean. It's junk science, right? I'm just benefit of the doubt, maybe? <laughs> Helican? Helican, hella pelican. Yeah, Benzel is just trying to get some coochie, man. That's all he's doing. That's not a crime, no. I'm turning my attention towards Tinder Girl. COVID-19 can go fuck itself. I'm making it's making dating hard. Now you say it can go fuck itself, but it might it might come fuck you or someone you love that's maybe a bit older. I don't know. It is it is a bit of enough people. And that's the thing. People gotta remember too. You know, you don't gotta just like stay inside like Mr. Fucking Shut in, right? You're still free to go outside. It's just for the foreseeable future, we kind of got to, like, change the way we kind of do things, right? Just, just in case. <laughs> for the most part. As painful as it's going to be. But we'll see. We'll see what our leaders are really made of. If they're going to bail out people. Because people are going to need a big fucking bailout. It's going to be a mess. Already is a mess. Jesus. Entire savings just like wiped out. Oh. The only reason so many sites support climate change is the scientists know better. Don't get government grants. What? What? We can talk science when you spell scientists right. <laughs> So many scientists will come with climate change. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Support climate change. Support climate change. <laughs> oh, man. I think I think we're just getting trolled at this point. No? Is this like a co-worker that's found my stream? Maybe. <laughs> it might just be. No? <laughs> this can't be real. This is happening? <laughs> Hello? Wow. Will I stay inside like Mr. Fucking Shut In is a day to day life choice? Yeah, that's the thing. It's not going to change me too much, minus the work situation. Now I don't have to go to work. And it's just weird being out and about, because you do have to go out and about, right? Like, you got to go shopping, right? You got to go to the bank sometimes. You got to go, what, man? Maybe you got to go to Subway. Get yourself a cold gut trio with a little bit of mayonnaise on there, a little bit of mustard, maybe a little bit of salt and pepper, or what? You know, you do go out, right? So it's going to be fucking weird, even when you do go out, even when you just slip outside. It's weird, man. My concerns are regarding finances in the meantime, but I've got enough to put aside to be okay. It's good. Who in the boot? You got to go on a go on a who in the boot? Go for a scoop, you know, while you're out in the boot. And maybe have a hoot while you're at it. Usually, it's a good thing to do. No? I hope you're about to, just about to say something. Uh, you're kidding or something? No, nah, man. No, no, pelican. My lad, <laughs> let me tell you a grim truth. There are actually people out there <laughs> that think climate change is a hoax. <laughs> Even though the president said it and then kind of walked it back. But I don't really believe he walked it back. <laughs> he just kind of thought, oh, fuck. This is... People keep making fun of me about this. I guess I'll say it's not true. But deep down, people do believe it, man. <laughs> they do. They do. I got to work 10 minutes early because there was so little traffic. Yeah, I've heard, I've, I've heard a few anecdotes like that. People's commutes being cut in like half and stuff like that. Driving into downtown cores and shit. Oh, it's weird, man. It's weird. 
We'll, we'll make it through, though. We'll make it through. We're in a lot better position to deal with this fucking thing and things like it than we were in previous times of dealing with it. We have a lot more people. Our economies are a lot more interlinked. The financial damage will not be limited to the places affected. It will have a global impact, especially because China was one of the first places hit. But it's slowly coming back online. But again, like this thing could easily flare back up in the fall. And this shit just happens all over again. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of this laptop anytime, needless to say. Uh, let's see. Do people really go out for sandwiches? Yeah, man, people go out for sandwiches. Yo, man, you never seen, like, some old fucking sad dude sitting at Subway? Just sitting by himself? Fucking, like, with a newspaper from two weeks ago in front of him? Just sitting there? Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> eating some subway and just looking outside probably on his break from his shit job just waiting for some fucking meteor to slam into the side of the planet you never seen that you've not been to subway enough man oh there's, there's pretty much one in every subway that i've experienced well <laughs> well maybe also tinder girl said she'd give me a haircut so i don't have to pay for it go to the barber in the middle of the pandemic ah it's cute man that's so cute I like it. Fucking pyromaniac. I've received a few haircuts from the ladies in my time. Never went well. <laughs> Not once. But hopefully she's better. I hope so. Your hair is probably a bit better to deal with. No? I think most most of the time when my hair was cut by a lady friend. Ex-lady friend at this point. They were not taking into account how much hair I actually have. <laughs> it's real fucking thick and bushy. They couldn't deal with it. Oh, if she gets it badly, I will absolutely rock it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it was pretty much my MO at the time, too. I was just, I was too fucking, like, thrilled to have got my hair cut by a fucking chick. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck. No, oh, it was good enough, right? Some days it was good. Ah, some days not so good. Kind of like the current haircut we got. Let's put this one here. In here, Skip? Here, Skip? Yeah. I'm gonna get all this shit out of here. Nope. But vanilla ice cream. Crisper, uh, just wait for the wave of pandemic babies because all the babies stuck in home. Bored. Maybe? Oh. <laughs> there might be a bit of a baby boom. You're right. Yeah. There's a whole lot of humping going on right now, I'm sure. Oh, oh yeah. Speaking of humping, Benzel had his first date today. What a legend. Oh. Rode that shit all the way home. Nice. <laughs> no, I can't say that. <laughs> oh, whoops. An army, army barber would have to spend a good two weeks on that head of hair. Yeah, it would be a mess. We don't we don't wanna we don't wanna let him anywhere near this. No. No? <laughs> to get the whipper snipper out. Well, that's okay. We've let her go. We'll let her go. We'll get her cut. What we plan is I'll probably get it cut in the uh, summer. Once it gets real hot, we'll have to shave it back. It'll be too fucking sweaty. We don't want to be sweaty. No sweaty. My parents say sandwiches, Italian restaurants, are, and vanilla vanilla ice creams are scams. What? <laughs> sandwiches, Italian restaurants, and vanilla ice cream are scams. Your parents are fucking funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> but vanilla ice cream is the only real ice cream. <laughs> is it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe. It's not very good that it comes at a time when trusting government media ETC is all what seems like an all-time low. Yeah, I, I agree with that. There's this widespread distrust. The internet was supposed to make people more informed, and I think it's just been a, used as a tool for sowing mistrust in a lot of ways it's not good plus adding election cycles on top of that yeah and then election cycles are frantic enough as it is we'll see if they're gonna go with papa papa joe or papa don we'll see it's gonna be one of one of these old farts no matter what sadly no what else are you gonna get good veal but an italian restaurant maybe a greek restaurant uh good veal i don't know probably an italian restaurant would be your best bet I don't know, man, but you can make it at home. My parents will do it. My mom is a crazy coupon lady. <laughs> nice. You can save a lot of money doing that shit, man. A little bit of work goes a long way. No? 
Think of it as like making money, right? You're going to have to buy this shit anyway. You might as well save money. You're going to have to spend it. Save a couple of bucks. No. I don't, I don't have the fucking ambition, but I don't fault the people that do it. No. Maybe sometimes when someone walks up and they're like, Hi, I'm sorry. I have so many coupons. And they just like just hand them like a wad. And you know you're going to be here for the next 20 minutes watching them cash all this shit out. Other than that, go for it, sister. No. I make things at home because I don't want to go out and getting them from a restaurant. And we've been taught by experience. During elections, everyone promises everything and nobody delivers in general. Usually. Usually? I don't know. Nobody delivers in general. Well, again, maybe that's... Maybe it's just you Yankees, but... I don't know. I've... <laughs> I think Trudeau did a lot of the things he promised to do. He definitely walked back a lot of shit he promised he was going to do. And he walked it back, like, immediately. Government reform and uh, yeah, in improving indigenous relations and stuff like that. Shit, goddamn, boys. <sighs> we do got legal weed, though. Fuck. <laughs> that was politics, baby. woo -ah! Nope. Wait, Chris, are you saying that Patriot Militia for Truth.ru isn't real informative news secure? No, I don't think so. You might have to Snopes that one. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. If you want good food... Go to a French restaurant. What do French restaurants have? The only thing the French is good for is food, wine, and white cloth. No? Nope. Oh, and that fuck. They got a sexy language too, right? Nope. What about cheese? They got good cheese? No? Nope. Beautiful scenery in France? No? Nope. If you're a big skier? I think some of the finest ski hills in the world? No? Nope. Maybe. I, th I, th I think you don't know very much about uh, French and or France <laughs> from the sounds of it. I don't think I've ever bought uh, something from a Culver's. My mom has uh, a lot of coupons and free stuff there from a Culver's. What the fuck's Culver's? It's Culver's? Oh. Oh. French is sexy? They sound like they're gagging me to talk. Are you fucking kidding me, man? You never, you never had a woman whisper in your ear in French? Oh. Oh. C'est bon. <laughs> C'est bon. <laughs> It's very nice. <laughs> very nice. Oh. Uh. <laughs> the historic Magnol line. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Why just just point out just point out the faults and just be like pa, pa. They're awful. <laughs> That's it. Just write off an entire civilization, of people. That's it. It's fine. <laughs> Sometimes when the women's making gaggy sounds, it's sexy. Well, er, I say it out loud. Yeah, you said, you said that out loud. Now I've actually read it out loud. Okay, bye. I think we just got banned. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> Legal weed. Yeah, man. We did it. We fucking did it. Diddy done did it. JT made it happen. Not a boy. Then the provinces fucked it up. <laughs> fucked it up. Culver's is so good. Delete the VODs. We'll do it. It's okay. It's okay. Just scrub the VODs. No clips, boys. We're deleting the VODs. We're scrubbing it. Was she saying I surrender? I can't say what she was saying. I'm not allowed to say what she was saying. <laughs> but let me just say, it was not. It was in a gentleman's establishment. <laughs> no? Let me just say that. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> For my sake. Anyway. By the way, from Montreal? <laughs> Good for that. <laughs> Good for that. Even though every other one I've been to is scummy as fuck. Rags! Rags. Oh no. I've got the good health kits on Rags. Oh shit, we used them all up on Rags, I think. Fuck. We gotta buy some more no more uh, new troll meat. Oh yeah, we're gonna set that up in here, right? We're gonna get a floor, some lights. Some more components. Shit. We did harvest up the silver out here. Damn it. Nope. Yep, but I still like the Mega No Line, even if it was uh, kind of obsolete when built anyway. Well, maybe. I guess so. France is the doormat of Europe. Anytime an army marches across Europe, the French meet them at the border and say, Come on in. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Everything bad, everything boils down to people's military. Oh! <laughs> 
I forgot. It's all about how someone shot someone. Oh, <laughs> isn't that what an entire group of people are all about? Doesn't that sum up their entire existence and culture and way of life? Yeah, I forgot. What the fuck? <laughs> Why do people make such a big deal about that shit? I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> you fucking Yankees. You're an interesting bunch. When the alarms uh, sounded that they were being attacked, the French opened up their army and went to grab their guns. It was dark because no one turned the lights on. They ran to the front lines with uh, baguettes instead of weapons. Now, Mal, I think Americans don't really like the French. No, you don't like the French for whatever reason. No? I don't know. Did they, like, beat you in a war at some point? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't think so. A new quest has become available. Shit. If they did, you wouldn't be the United States. No? You'd be the United Baguettes. Of... Of France. We had to save the French twice in the last hundred years. The last hundred years. <laughs> and who else did you save? Call me vid. Why don't you point? Why don't you point to them? You had to save Britain, who's your best fucking friend, right? Who else did you save? To a lesser extent, Italy, who you get along with fabulously. Who else did you save? Why? Like, again, it makes. No sense. It makes no sense. <laughs> In the last hundred years. Exactly. So you point at the French and go, fuck them. And it's stupid. It's bigotry, really. <laughs> it's what it is. But you just, you, you Yankees consider it to be a knee-slapping good time. It's gross. We've apparently tried to save the Middle East more than once. Yeah, yeah more than once. Yeah. Remind me of all the failures. <laughs> In the last hundred years, too. <laughs> Remind me of all the fucking blood on your hands. Via covert ops or drone strikes or fucking <laughs> South America alone. Good God. <laughs> it's fine to pick on the French. They don't fight back. <laughs> oh, man. God damn. <laughs> there it is. What is, are you Jeff Foxworthy? Like, what is, <laughs> what is this? Wow. Guys, nobody remind Christopher that Canada pretty much won the War of 1812 where he will bully us. That's okay. the, war, the, the War of 1812 thing was overblown. It was largely Britain that kicked your ass. Well, we just helped. <laughs> we just helped. And burned your fucking White House down. That was pretty sweet. Uh, I'm an even-handed bigot. I make fun of America at least as much as fun to everyone else. I guess I guess so, but I think French gets a, France gets a really bad deal, man. No? Nope. And I don't know why. Probably because they're... <laughs> no? There are ha uh, ha I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I have theories, but I, I shudder to think of why. No? Nope. Maybe. Because they deserve it. Yeah, because they deserve it. <laughs> why do they deserve it? Because they, did, they didn't win the war? <laughs> oh, right. Is that why? Because they didn't win the war. They didn't shoot the guy better than the other guy shot the guy. Oh, fuck. Well, we'll just make fun of them for eternity. No, nope. despite all the things they've done to help you out, all the fucking missions they've taken part in through NATO and stuff like that. No, <laughs> fuck them, right? Fuck them. Because it's something that happened when you were not even a fucking sperm in your daddy's nutsack. <laughs> it's fucking pathetic. They were fighting France, so they used can Canadian militias and stuff. It was only until the end of the war that Britain started destroying us. <laughs> Start destroying us. Britain's start destroying us. So they use the Canadian militia. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they backed off, right? And that's why Canada managed to stay Canada. And you motherfuckers didn't take us over. You didn't just make Ontario like New York North or something like that. Nope. They have the most elite military force in the world, and there isn't a Frenchman on it. Cool. I don't know. I don't know what I have to communicate to you to make you realize that what you're saying is absolute dog shit stupid but it is <laughs> call me vid <laughs> you think you're making a point <laughs> but you just sound like a fucking cunt <laughs> a no nothing cunt and I think you might, might want to smarten up friend yeah, it used to be funny. <laughs> Maybe? 
back in like the 50s. <laughs> but I don't think you know what the fuck you're talking about, man. <laughs> the French Foreign Legion. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, again, I, I don't know why you measure a society by what their military does, but it is short-sighted beyond comprehension. And I implore you to find some modicum of interest, to look beyond some fucking event that occurred once again, before you were a speck of dust on this wretched planet. And just chill the fuck out, dude. <laughs> Gain some fucking perspective. Holy shit. <laughs> Macron's like one of the best things you got going in Europe right now. He's the thing keeping the fucking European Union basically. And once Merkel's off the scene, he's the thing keeping the European Union from sliding into fucking ultra-right nationalism. You gotta, you, you gotta, you better be kissing fucking France's ass, buddy. <laughs> Holy shit. Yikes. Europe goes down. It's not like the United States can fucking isolate themselves. Just like they realized back in 40 fucking 2 or 1 or whatever the fuck. 40, 40. Probably 38. But they waited. They waited till 41 or whatever the fuck it was. 39? When did you Yankees get involved? 41, right? I can't remember. We were in there too long before you. I can't remember now. We were too busy trying to uh, make it work. Too, too busy. No? Oh, Canada. No? As a doc main in R6, I personally take offense to that. Call me vid. He's pretty elite. <laughs> Yo, have you considered how many headshots Pelican has got in R6? I mean, that's... That's got to be said. That's got to be rightly pointed out, right? Oh, my God. Maybe? I think so. It would benefit. It would benefit the situation. <laughs> Maybe? Oh, I love it. I don't know. That's the thing, though, right? Yeah, you just got it. Been to Paris? Not very impressive. Nice. You ever been... You So that's it. Been to Paris? Shit military? <laughs> Fuck France. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. No? Fuck it. No appreciation for the history beyond some... Military conflicts? Fuck. I don't know. I just... I don't dare cast aside a society based on my extremely limited impressions. Unlike yourself. And I would implore you to maybe have the same kind of foresight. But hey, what you're doing? Way easier, right? <laughs> Way easier. That smug satisfaction of just... <laughs> Fuck you, millions of people! Oh, doesn't that feel good? That feels great, right? <laughs> I've never really wanted to go to Paris personally, but I'm not normal. No, no, no. In 17 and 1800. Oh my fuck. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Was a strong nation! <laughs> okay, great. Cool. <laughs> oh fuck, boys. Buckle up. <laughs> Here comes the history lesson. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord do, do us both a favor and spare us thanks <laughs> I mean yeah you probably can see the military so you wouldn't like it <laughs> what Paris is cool like no matter <laughs> oh there oh, sorry we missed the first one Paris is cool like no matter who you are I think you want to go there sometime in your life well it's, it's definitely on my bucket list but there are many other places in France I want to see get to the fucking Alps right Get down to Nice. I wouldn't mind going to Con off season, but still go to Con and just kind of like soak that shit up. S what have spend a night among the uber rich? That sounds fun. No, maybe in the 17th. I stood next to the French in the NATO exercises. Nice, spelt incorrectly, but nice. There you go. I'm starting to like France the more he talks about it. <laughs> He's winning you, right? There you go. He's got you. Damn it. He outplayed us. See, he's pretty much the colonel of NATO at this point. No, he's pretty much Romeo fucking Dallaire at some point. Oh. Is that how NATO works? Probably not. That's fine. All right, man. Cool. Yeah, you got it. No, you got it figured out. That's, that's, I get it. No, yeah, no, I get it. You got it. You got it. You got it figured out. It's good, though. It's good. It's good to have it figured out. So you don't have to wonder. So you don't have to be inquisitive. So you don't have to think. You can just judge. That's... That's way cooler. I dig it. 
chicks love it too. Right? Mm -hmm. Def. We should go to France and do a live stream, right? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta shack up with tourism France. Maybe after this pandemic's over. Maybe probably after the pandemic's over. <sighs> All right, man. I actually kind of forgot for like five seconds there, yelling about France. The, the pandemic's gone. Oh, can we yell about France more? I love it. And see, <laughs> who said France is good for nothing? I feel better already. <laughs> Thanks, France. Thanks. Appreciate you, bud. Appreciate you. Doing your part. Making it happen. Terrific. Why have you, you've never wanted to go to Paris personally, but I'm not normal, no? Even if you even if you had like a mil million bajillion bucks, you wouldn't eventually just jet it over to Paris for like a weekend? No? No. Well maybe that wasn't part of the part of the gig. I'd love to go there though. I don't think I'm ever gonna get to see Europe though. I don't know. There might be no airlines left in like three months. <laughs> well just maybe. No, maybe. I don't mean to argue, but j'ai une bite énorme par rapport à toi. Ouais. 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 <laughs> I don't understand what any of that means. Can we put it in the translator? No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is dirty. <laughs> I'm thinking this might be dirty. No? <laughs> I'm thinking so. Google's suggesting that that might be very vulgar. <laughs> yeah, I think it might violate Twitch OS. I think we'll just leave that one. <laughs> the thing that pissed me off about France is that they wouldn't let us fly planes over their nation when we were suddenly things in Libya in the 80s. That's... That's what gets it. <laughs> That's what gets it. Unless something has convinced me to do it. If I had a majillion, bajillion bucks, you'd probably never see me in a major population. <laughs> majillion population center again. Just fucking live it in the sticks. Not a bad idea, actually. I'd be one way to spend all your cash over. Nice. I think I might violate Twitch TOS. That's okay. Have we done the same? For about 10 minutes, I've been listening on my Bluetooth speaker in the kitchen while making a late night snack. What the heck is this conversation about? Nothing good. Nothing good. <laughs> I don't even know. It's not that bad. No, we've had worse. It's not that bad. Something something about enormous cock that I saw. A big old, big old dangus. No? Maybe. <sighs> More bedrooms, right? Oh, we set up the marble floors in here. Bad call. Too busy with the banter. We don't even really need more bedrooms, so we got them. How you doing, Clean Biscuit? Nice to see you, man. What's up? What? How you doing? So this conversation has been successfully moved off the bad beer virus. Eventually. Eventually. It's got to move off that. But I find myself just steering back towards it. I read about it too much at work every fucking day. I think, like, literally the first five hours of my day was re spent reading about coronavirus. Five hours. <laughs> various stories, various takes on it. Including, like I said, the one about people's mistrust of scientific organizations and how... They've only been set up to save us, and yet some people think they're just out to get us. It's, it's fucked. Oh.
we need a... Oh, <laughs> what's it called? I guess we could build the bridge here, right? We need a drainer, though. Do we even have components? We don't. This is getting dicey. Real dicey, boys. Toad's dicey. Oh. That's still good. Console. My rule of thumb is the more people there are somewhere, the less I really want to go there. Well, I know what you mean. That's the, more, the older I get, that's the more I feel that way. But there are still times like I want to go places where there's a lot of people. Mainly for some reason of just wanting to do something. But like I'm willing to suffer the people to do it. Right? Concerts or shows or what have you, right? Nice night out on the town with the lady. Too bad we can't do that shit anymore. <laughs> Fuck. I need that whole bottle uh, tonight clean. Hopefully. Maybe. I should have poured a bigger glass of wine. Hopefully French wine. Yeah, is it French wine? <laughs> Hopefully. There's something they're good for. Maybe. No French wine is a scam like climate change. No, for fuck's sake! What environment is uh, your game in? <laughs> what environment is your game in? It's, uh, what is it? Tropical rainforest? I think tropical rainforest. Yeah. Tropical rainforest. That was me in my late teens and 20s. Now, I don't even have that really wanting to do something enough to deal with the people. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, the more and more, the older I get. The less and less, I, like I said, I want to do it. So far, so good, though. This spot. It is a little janky. Hopefully. I'm in a bit of a funk over all the craziness. It would help if we haven't been having a winter storm. So I've also been inside for over a week. Oh, shit, man. Already, already self-isolating. <laughs> Ahead of the curve. I know, man. It, it's... I kind of like thought for like a day maybe like well this might be okay right like just chilling at home hanging out but already i'm like i don't like this <laughs> this has the potential to go on for a long time and, and it's already fucking weird enough and th reading about the ramifications of what's happening like how many people are just suffering out there it's no good can't go on can't go on French wine is great. I have, I have a few bottles somewhere and some French brandy. Oof. French brandy. I bet that's fucking delicious too. Oof. Yes. Tube television? We'll do it. We don't even need these beds. Fuck it. I mainly just built them for the statues, which we don't even have. Shit. Oh my god, get the devil thread, you dingus. Oh, we don't have room for it. Fuck me right in the face. We gotta get a new spot for the devil thread. Oh. Here? Granite meteor. God damn it. Why? Wine just sucks in general. Really? I like that. I like the wine. It's okay. I didn't always. It's grown on me, though. I don't like drink it leisurely, but I do like it with food sometimes. It's, I, I much prefer drinking wine with food than having a beer or something like that. I find beer just makes food taste gross. I think I've always thought beer tastes gross, though. <laughs> I don't know. No? Maybe. 
Maybe? And I'm an American, I can go where I please. Eh? Really? Why? <laughs> Maybe? In the contrary, Neri, I want to stay at home all the time. Someone tells me, you have to stay home, then I feel like, fuck you, I'll do what I want. Why? Well, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of conflicting, right? Well, that's the thing. No one's telling you, like, to just stay home all the time, but just avoid, you know, large groups of people. Obviously, you're going to need to go to the grocery store. You're going to need... And they've, they've said, too, like, go out for walks, you know, get exercise. Just don't go, you know, to a fucking sweaty gym and spray your fucking germs all over the place kind of thing. We got to limit this shit. People are going to get sick, but we got to limit how many people actually do get sick. That's the trick right now. But I, I know, I know, Clean Biscuit. I've been feeling kind of bummed out about it too. It's, it sucks, man. It's weird. We'll get through it though. We've got through worse shit before. Maybe not as ably, but we'll get through this shit. It's just wild to think. Like two, three months ago, I was just like, ah, this will be nothing. Sars all over again. Just a bunch of hullabaloo. And then it turned into the biggest fucking deal this planet's seen in quite some time. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Oh, the civilization. Maybe not the planet so much. Huh? Pelican, you're pretty funny for a 13-year-old. Yo, man, Pelican is fucking hilarious, man. I'm a heavy drinker. 13 is stressful. He's a fucking hilarious kid. He's on it. It's because he, he likes the stand-up, right? He's got the... He's got the... It just instills a, a wit in you, I find watching stand-up at a young age you don't even after a while you don't even like copy the jokes you just kind of learn the timing you learn the when to hit and that guy that kid he knows when to hit <laughs> pretty good so here's maybe i've never liked wine then again i've never been able to finish a beer just don't drink no it's nasty people hate i was a problem drinker i disagree i was damn good at it <laughs> i've personally been on the wagon for the past 20 years or so Damn good at it. Nice. Well, hopefully you stay on it. Nice. Good for you. Flatten the curve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flatten the curve. Yeah, exactly. That's what we should be doing. Exactly. Flattening the curve. Lessening the blow. Whatever you want to call it. Hopefully it works. Hopefully. <laughs> Where are you from? Your accent is mind-numbing me. It valid sand asks. <laughs> What? Mind numbing you? Is it a good mind numb? Or is it like, I want to go choke a cat? <laughs> mind numb. Hopefully. Hopefully not the second one. What? Hopefully. No? Both. It's that dumb. <laughs> it's that numb. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just a typo. Okay, good. He's from, yeah, I'm from France. Represent. Yeah, born and raised. En Francaise. Hi. <laughs> He's from the land of the bearded lumberjacks. Yeah, Canada. Canadian. Canada. You ever heard of it? No? Good. <laughs> Don't come here. <laughs> Maybe. Keep your germs away from it. Maybe. Canuckistan. That's the one. Otherwise known as Kanakistan. Snowy Mexico. That, <laughs> that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. These where they call pancakes flapjacks. Do we call them flapjacks? Eh? What do the red X's mean? Your stuff needs to be repaired? Uh, red X's. Wherefore is red X? Hi, Mr. Handy. <laughs> Hello, hi! Hi. The handy for you! Wait, whoa, no, wait. Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh. No! Oh. Solar flare. God damn it. It's like the third one today. X. Red X is usually forbidden, i.e. minions don't pick up. Yeah, 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 yeah. The solar panels in the gun placements. Solar panels in the... Oh, no! These are busted. They need some components. They're broken down. But we don't have any components. So we can't fix them up. Sadly. No. Nobody clip it. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Pelican. Thanks. <laughs> We're already going to delete the VOD. So nobody clip it. It's going pretty good. Mr. Fan Handy, how are you doing, man? How are you doing? Nice to see you. How's it going? What's crack a How are you? What's up? 
¿no? Hopefully, uh, Invalid Sand just didn't like spiral into a pit of madness as a result of realizing that it all along it was just a big dumb Canadian accent. No? So far, so good. So far, so good. Good. Good to hear, man. Hopefully, it stays good. No? All along. <laughs> Foiled. Fucking ruinous. <laughs> How dare you, sir? You will be hearing from my lawyer. Good night, Lazy Bucky. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. See you. Goodbye. Have a good one. We'll see you soon, maybe. Hopefully, bye. Stay safe, man. Bye. Made me rethink everything I've learned in life. Good. It's about time. No? It's always good to start from scratch, right? Just take that fucking magic eraser and just wipe that whiteboard right off. Just... Just give it a big old wipe, right? Yeah, perfect. No problem. Hopefully. Crazy that it's uh, taking a week to get stuff from Amazon. Is it really taking that long? Holy shit. I haven't really ordered anything since the shit went down. I haven't really tried. I got something like the week before it all went down. Maybe? Bad that I wrote Canadian in uh, <laughs> permanent marker. Terrible. Terrible. You must be American. <laughs> <laughs> maybe probably stay calm and wash your hands and your ass both yeah both preferably at the same time no you can't tell me to wipe my ass i'm american <laughs> jfk didn't fucking ride a dinosaur shooting machine guns in the war of 1812 so you can tell me i can't wipe my ass okay i'm an american i'm a fucking yankee all right i'm an american god damn it oh that's an old meme shit and then someone in chat would always be like, you're not American. I'm like, I, I know. And JFK didn't ride a dinosaur shooting machine guns in the War of 1812 either. But <laughs> it's, it's a joke. Yeah, there we go. There, the chat's getting it tonight. I'm from the land done under. Okay, the land done under. What amazing, lovely. Whereabouts? What, uh, what province? No? States? No? What the fuck you guys call them down there? Provinces, right? You're, you belong to the queen, of course. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Well, nice to see you, man. Nice to see you. Uh, good afternoon, I suppose. Good evening? Good afternoon. Why do they take away cash money? Will it all be digital? Will they take away cash money? Will it all be digital? Maybe. Hopefully. Possibly. Adro asks. Yeah, I think, I think we might. Maybe. I have the freedom to be covered in shit. The God-given right to be covered in poop. <laughs> if I want to smear a big old crusty one right up my arse, I'm allowed to. And leave it there for a week at a time. God damn it! I'm an American. I use my own shirt to wipe my ass and then continue <laughs> to wear it because the Bill of Rights lets me. <laughs> it's the 19th Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> a little little cited amendment yeah it doesn't really get brought up much but yes in fact <laughs> little did you know <laughs> wow oh a bunch of fucking yucksters in the chat tonight boys it's good being a yuckster myself an aficionado of the yuck. It's good. No? Isn't that slavery though? No, I'm pretty sure that's like the first one, isn't it? They got they got that they put that one down right away, right? No. No. I think so. No. <laughs> no, no, no. We all know what the first amendment is. It's a piece of shit. No. That the Democrats are using to twist our country and turn us against each other. No? Maybe. The 19th Amendment gave the women gave women the right to vote. Nice. Probably the best amendment. 
the right of the citizens of the United States to be covered in phases <laughs> shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state. Congress shall have the power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. I like it, boys. Whoever wrote that one, a real butt wiper. A real fucking butt wiper. No? Really knew what was up. No? I mean, slavery and poop shirts are very important issues. Pretty much, pretty much one and two, right? Like, yeah. At least in 1700s America, yeah. You wipe back to front or front to back? Front to back. Front to back? Let me front the back. Let me fucking pull in some Cirque du Soleil shit every time you take a deuce. Jesus. Good lord. Front the back. What, are you leaving a present for yourself later? What do you mean, front the back? Oh my god. I go sideways. Ah, <laughs> uh, the adventurous type. Nice. Look at all these idle colonists. This ain't good. What's gone wrong? We got no room. We can't do anything. Right. We gotta get through here. Bam. Perfect. Well, what? We'll put the steel up here, I guess? And maybe, uh... Wool in here. Wool is great for selling, though. Amazing. No? So you stand up and wipe. Well, it depends. It depends on the situation. Sometimes. Personally. I'm, I'm really looking at getting a fucking bidet. I'd love to get a bidet. But I can't. I need the hot water. I can't do the cold water. And I don't think that's really doable in my apartment, sadly. I'll have to get, like, a fucking proper house. Set it up proper. Get a fucking plumer. Seems like the way to go. Shit. <laughs> we can't put this here. Uh, okay, we'll wall this up. Is this... this... no. No, no. I gotta take this roof off, too. Cancel. Zone. Remove roof. Bingo bank. Structure. Marble wall. Another bingo bank. Perfect. Oh. Yep, I dip my asshole in the bowl and then drink from the bidet. What? Wait, what? I like to wipe back to front so that I can get crap under my set. <laughs> There you go. No? Leave a little little present for you? No? <laughs> it's not good. I mean, regardless of however I do it, usually, if I'm being honest, we give it a thorough a thorough toweling and then we just jump in the shower. <laughs> usually. I don't go in public places. We have, there's one place we do we do that one, and that's in my fucking house. Very seldom will I be caught out needing to do that in a public place. Thankfully, hopefully, maybe get a Japanese toilet with a built-in bidet. They have the fanciest toilets anywhere. Yeah, man. The, the, the. Why, like, why haven't we evolved in North America, our way of thinking when it comes to the bathroom? Like, I mean, I guess the super rich have, but... Like, just, like, we still use, like, the basic, the most basic toilet technology. Oh. There's so much potential out there just waiting for us. 2,000 PSI water bidet. Fuck me. Kidding me? It's like a goddamn fucking elephant hose. Jesus. It'll tear you a new asshole. You don't want that one. Oh. We'll rip you apart. Make you a lady. We don't want that one. Oh. <laughs> can, we, can we say that? I think we could say that, right? No? 
<laughs> Probably not. It's 2020. Maybe. You want to see basic toilet tech? Go visit Tur Turkey. No, I know. I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying there's worse. This is not a what about situation. I'm just saying, in North America, <laughs> given that we are this North, what, f sophisticated, advanced society, we're pretty fucking backwards when it comes to the toilet. Well, maybe. Maybe. You get your, your anus pressure washed. You get your anus pressure washed. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, what wars of Turkey? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm telling you, Pelican, you got a bright future ahead of you, kid. No, you're doing, you're doing good. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's good shit. That's that's called the throwback joke, boys. That right there, that's the proper fucking throwback joke right there. It's 2020. You can say it. That's the thing now, right? All bets are off. Whole new world. Up is down, down is up. Climate change isn't real. <laughs> Who knows now? No, it's not true. It's just something I read on the internet. Nope. Sons of bitches can't make a toilet or to win a war. Yeah, fucking losers, right? Why why even bother with them, right? Let us just roundly mock them. They stop Rome and kick, the, kick them out of Asia forever. Oh, fuck. See, they did win one. They did win one. Wow. So they're, they're okay. They did win one. Held the Ottoman Empire for almost 2,000 years. Wow, look at that, man. Oh, fuck. Pelican. Are you sure? You better... You better... Uh, you better reconsider, bud. <laughs> Maybe? It's not too late. It's not too late to back down from this horrible decision you're making. Have you ever considered... How good, in fact, Turkey is? Never mind that the country currently is slowly sliding into authoritarianism. And many people would like to see it end that... End? <laughs> but it's not really working out that way. Because Erdogan... Has managed to fucking... Cling to power. For quite some time. Survived a coup, no less. There we go. An attempted coup, I guess. It's not a coup, and if it fails... Uh, I'd be quite happy to take our nukes back. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know if you, you guys need any more nukes. I think the world's got enough nukes. We should we just be getting getting rid of them at this point. En masse. We were for a long time. That was the direction we were going, but... That's kind of stopped, and it's reversed now. A little concerning. We're getting desperate here. Desperate. When Turkey gets its own KFC dish on the menu. <laughs> You're too young for dad jokes, man. Come on. <laughs> then we can talk. Then it's on. <laughs> then, then we have a deal. Oh, the US kept nukes in Turkey since the 1950s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. So interesting. Really, really interesting stuff. Thanks. Thanks. Then we can talk. Then we can actually talk. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Off it. I spent a year serving there in the late 80s. Very nice. Sadly, a much different country now. Sadly. God, I haven't even, like, read about the Syrian conflict. Like, I, I fucking, for the last couple of days, I've even forgot that's even going on still. God only knows what some of the world's dictators are getting up to while everyone's hyper-focused on COVID. Jesus. It's a dictator's dream. <laughs> Mass distractions. Still know a bit of the language. Very nice. What do they, what do they speak over there? Uh, Farsi? Turkish? 
can't remember. Oh, I don't have my style card. Turkish. They speak Turkish. Yeah, Turkish. Yeah, Farsi's like Pakistan or something, right? Man. God, man, it still blows my mind how many languages there are in the world. How they all like evolved in like little little silos. Ah, it's crazy. How many languages have been lost as well? Never to be reclaimed. underappreciated aspect of humanity. One of the things that separates us more than anything from the fucking animals. The ability to communicate in so many different ways. Tree sewing? That and the fucking thumbs, right? Pretty much those two. That's fucking did it. What else we gotta get here? We don't even really need the water belt generator. Flat screen television? Hello! Hello. Hello. Country of Turkey, I formally apologize for these statements about you not having a Kentucky Fried Chicken dish. Please don't <laughs> nuke me. <laughs> Big fan of Turkey. Uh, would would try again. No? Don't worry, Pelican. We won't let them use our nukes against you. Hopefully not. Hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, Pelican's in Illinois, so you definitely don't want to be using their nukes on Pelican. I speak beep bops. <laughs> beep bops. Beep boop. Boop boop beep boop, boop, boop. Hopefully. No? Is beep bops like Morse code? Hopefully. Maybe maybe like maybe like the sound a modem makes. Something? Beep 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 boop boop boop. Wow. Top notch modem impressions. Only on Twitch. Get rid of those. And then we want to get, what? Uh, a couple of zones in here. What's this one going to be? Uh, plant matter? Steel or... Yeah, we'll put the steel here. We're going to need a lot more steel than anything. We'll put the wool here. Plant matter? All the textiles? I think we just want wool, right? Just cloth. Or all the textiles. Christ. And then we got to turn off cloth and steel. Right? Right. We hit the rack. It's getting a bit early. Good night, call me vid. Good night. See you, dude. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you, call me vid. You too, man. Tulu. Take care. Bye bye. Good luck. Have a good one. Keep your head down. Don't touch anyone. Bye. See you, dude. Cheers. Rivederci. Godspeed. No touching. Oh, why don't we put this one here? Isn't that nice? Why not? Actually, you know what? Change this up. Too bad everyone's sleeping? Yeah, fuck. We gotta get working on the drug lab too. Jesus. We've kinda like 
lost sight of the uh, the prize here. We gotta get going too. Fuck, I gotta get up early tomorrow. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I don't have to commute. Ah. Uh... <laughs> oh shit. Oh. <laughs> I can't get used to this, man. <laughs> it's dangerous. I'm I'm scarily getting used to getting working at home too much. I can't get used to it. It's too good. Oh, it's too good. Are we finally we are moving all this shit out of here? Why are we moving the kibble in here? odd oh my god beautiful it's still too many blocks yeah too many blocks just have to keep making some more shit i guess i'll we'll have to make the wall too we can make a wall anywhere i want to like fill all this out we'll make the drug lab i guess over here I think eventually we want to build this all the way out this way, too. Should probably set another one of them up. Right. And then we need another one up here. Sweet. Still no components. Shit. Need some more clothing too. No problem. We got lots of like leather and stuff. Or do we want to move? Ah, oh, no. <laughs> leather. Pants. Okay. Do it. Should probably get them like armor and shit too. Not a bad idea. Can we do it? Simple helmet. Lovely. See you guys tomorrow night. Good. Good night. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Pelican. Bye. Bye. Yeah, let's. I think we'll shut it down, boys. Even though I can stay up a little bit later than I anticipated. I, I, I want to take a break, but if I take a break, I'm not going to be able to come back for an hour. So let's uh, let's call it for now. We'll do it again tomorrow. Thanks. We, tonight was a lot of fun. I fucked a lot of good laughs, too. Crazy, crazy antics. Crazy <laughs> chats. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys. We're going to be leaning on each other. Uh... Not just like in chat, but like I think as, as a species, a lot more in the coming days, weeks, maybe even months. So uh, please, if we, we if you're ever feeling lonely or whatever, we got a Discord. You can come banter away in the Discord, post your fucking memes or whatever. That I don't know what it's for, but yeah, go for it. We got a pretty good group of people there having a laugh. It's pretty chill. Doesn't like send off notifications every 65 seconds, so that's great. It's going to be a wild few weeks, yeah. And I really, honestly, I really hope it's only a couple of weeks. I don't know how much longer this can go on. I mean, I, I already see way too many, like, shuttered businesses. Not It's not like, you know, like, boom, t uh, what's it, uh, bus town or whatever like that. You know, it's not like a ghost town. But I just, you know, com I feel like compared to what I used to see 5, 10, 15 years ago, it's a lot more just, like, blatantly closed businesses that don't have anyone, you know, lining up. Like, they've been closed for months kind of thing. I, I, I don't know. Even before this, right? So I worry that's going to put a lot of other businesses that are already kind of just teetering right over. They won't be coming back. So it is. It's going to be rough. It's going to be a really, really rough few weeks. But hey, we got Twitch uh, and we got uh, Antics and we got uh, RimWorld and whatever else we want to play. We have t t tons of really good things. We can play Cough, Australian language Cough. Totally didn't get rid of like 100 of them. Whoops. <laughs> we missed that one. Sorry, the Invalid Sand. Sorry. We've been known to miss a few, though. Okay. We'll do it again, though. Another time. Hopefully, maybe. 
hopefully it's going to be a while. Thank you, Mr. Handy. Thank you, Pelican. Call me vid. Benzyl morphine. Clean biscuit. Invalid sand. Thank you. Thanks for the good. It was a good one. We had fun. No, we always had fun. But tonight was like I came close to tears at a couple times. It was pretty good. <laughs> bye. Lazy monkey, bye. See you guys. Bye. Have a good one. Toodaloo. Cheers. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Stay the fuck away from each other. No hugs, no kisses, except the ones you love. Well, maybe not even the ones you love now. If they're really old, right? Maybe at least for a couple weeks. Maybe we'll see. Don't don't check Facebook. <laughs> get away from Facebook. Or whatever whatever Facebook like equivalent. Oh, I'm gonna get some kisses, boy. <laughs> right on to pee pee. A pee pee? Okay, bye. <laughs>